Today, pioneering experiments probe the existence of a mysterious second kind of matter, dark matter. The stuff that matters to us humans, we call matter. It's what hits us, it's what we stand on, what we sit on, it's what we are. But then there's this other stuff of which there's much more than normal matter. And the crazy thing is that we have no idea exactly what it is. This strange substance is not just invisible to the naked eye, it's beyond human perception. I love the story about how humans turn out to be less and less the center of the universe. And in fact, why should we assume that our senses, our sight and touch and smell, really tell us everything that's going on? We evolved to interact with regular matter, things that were made of atoms. But there's dark matter right here between my hands. But I have no way to sense it. We've been struggling to understand what dark matter is for a long time. The galaxies were spinning so fast that the outer stars should be flung off like water droplets on a spinning bicycle wheel. But they weren't being flung off. So there had to be something else out there holding the stars in, an additional source of gravity that we weren't seeing. Therefore, dark matter. It's a huge mystery. So why do we think this hidden universe exists at all? Deep in the heart of the English countryside, a team of investigators know how to find it. Professor Mark Cropper works at the Mullard Space Science Laboratory. This grand Victorian country house hides an extraordinary secret. It may not appear from the outside, but inside this building, we're addressing some of the most fundamental questions in science. Behind the antique facade, lies a labyrinth of rooms, home to one of Europe's most ambitious space missions. Before he can enter, Mark has to put on protective equipment to prevent the buildup of static electricity. It's harmless to humans, but devastating to electronics. So Jean-Paul, are you, are you almost finished? Yes, it is finished, actually. It's actually finished? Yes. Wow, fantastic. Mark and his team build and test one of the most sensitive cameras in the world. It will be equipped with 36 image sensors called CCDs. They're similar to the devices one has in a, in a, a phone or, a, or a, a digital camera, except this is a rather large and scientific grade one. The camera is destined for Europe's new space telescope, a $1 billion project called Euclid. The hidden universe cannot be seen. But scientists like Mark believe it exists because part of it leaves a dazzling footprint. The gravity of a galaxy is so strong that it can bend light into a shimmering halo called an Einstein ring. This circle is the warped image of all the stars in another distant galaxy behind it. But there's a mystery. This is an Einstein ring. From the position and size of this arc, we can reconstruct how much matter there would be in the region of the galaxy. When we do that calculation, we find that there is about four times as much unseen matter here than we would expect simply from the stars in this galaxy itself. This galaxy simply doesn't contain enough ordinary matter to bend light this much. This is even more clear in this other picture, where this blue galaxy here is a much dimmer and fainter object. Nevertheless, there's still uh, a gravitational lensing. So what's going on? Most of the distortion in an Einstein ring is caused by this extra matter we can't see. The mysterious substance is called dark matter, and it surrounds the galaxy. This invisible cloud creates the extreme warping of light, evidence that dark matter exists. We don't know what the matter is. Uh, it doesn't seem to be uh, made up of ordinary atoms uh, like the stars are and like you and I are. It seems to be something else. And that's why it's given this sort of temporary name of dark matter. Euclid will hunt for as many Einstein rings as possible. But the team's first challenge is to build a flawless camera sharp enough to detect even the weakest distortions. Just a single speck of dust from Earth could ruin these sensors beyond repair. 
So have you found it difficult to focus this? Not that much. I mean, we, we've got a couple of adjustments. Mark's colleague, Magdalena, pushes each sensor to its limit. She fills a test chamber with liquid nitrogen. As the temperature plummets to minus 198 degrees Fahrenheit, even the pipe freezes. The team must determine how each individual sensor will perform when in space. Mark wants to measure how every galaxy bends light to calculate exactly how much extra matter and energy exists in the universe. It's been a very significant realization to understand that we know so little about what makes up most of the universe. I'm sure that Euclid will be absolutely profound in changing physics at a very fundamental level. One of the great mysteries that's been with us for actually several decades is dark matter. And one of the questions about it is, well, what is it? And we actually don't know. Dark matter does not reflect or absorb light. So far, scientists can only detect its gravity. The best bet hypothesis is that it consists of WIMPs, what we call weakly interacting massive particles. They are little fundamental particles left over from the Big Bang, and we haven't directly detected them yet because they don't interact with detectors very well. But hidden within the Grand Sasso Mountains of central Italy, this research scientist has made it his mission to find a dark matter particle. To get there, he must travel a mile into the bedrock through a labyrinth of tunnels and chambers. Nuclear physicist Marcello Messina is on his way to a towering dark matter detector called Xenon-1T. We are here on the experimental side of Xenomantone experiments. You can see the service building with all the ancillary devices that are required to run our detector. And on the left side, you see what we call the water tank. This experiment took almost two years to build. At the top and bottom of the tank are light-sensitive detectors. Inside is purified water and 135 pounds of xenon, a rare gas in liquid form. The mountain poses no barrier for dark matter. Cosmologists believe that a halo of dark matter surrounds our galaxy like a giant invisible cocoon. But inside, it moves in eerie streams. The flow of dark matter is bent towards a planet's gravitational core forming dense trails. Particles of dark matter should be passing effortlessly through the Earth every second. But if that's true, can we ever detect them? Marcello thinks he's found a way. He's looking for the footprint of a single dark matter particle passing through the Earth. He hopes that inside the tank, one or two might collide with atoms of xenon and generate tiny flashes of light. But that's easier said than done. Natural radiation can also create flickers of light, so the xenon needs to be shielded and kept free from contamination. This is the most pure xenon in the world. We need the xenon to be purified at an extreme level. But even the edge of the container could interact with pure xenon. So the team only looks for flashes at the very center of the liquid gas. Marcello knows that the odds of ever seeing a true dark matter collision are incredibly low. One event can be anything. More than one can be more convincing. Too many start to be conflicting with the fact that we didn't see before. The more scientists come to grips with dark matter, the more they realize just how little they know about the structure of the universe. 